As we walk in the forest, we can learn a lot about the plants and the animals that made American history. We've all heard of the Boston Tea Party, where the colonists dressed up as Native Americans and they went aboard ships and they threw the British tea into the Boston Harbor and ruined it. And of course, many of them were English or Irish and they loved to have their tea. Often today, people just have to have their tea. But back then, tea was like having our coffee today. One reason that the colonists were able to do that and still have a normal lifestyle of being able to drink tea was because of this plant right here. And this plant sometimes is called green twig because of the twig, but you'll notice that it has all types of different leaves on it. And if we had smell of vision on YouTube, you'd break one of these leaves and smell it, and you definitely would get a very pleasant smell. Now, the Native Americans taught the colonists and the early settlers how to use this plant. As a matter of fact, it was our first export. And the export was sassafras tea. And today, to many, sassafras tea is a delight. And how you would make sassafras tea is in the spring, which is the best, but you can make it any time of the year, they would find the young plants like this, and they would pull them out of the ground, and they would cut the roots off, and they would gather many of these. Now, they would use the young plants because a plant this big, you'd need a shovel to dig out the root. And they got the young roots, and they cleaned them up, and they ground them up, and they mixed that with water, and they made themselves a tea. It's a delicious tea, has lots of micronutrients in it, and it helped to build the American economy. Hey, this is Samoes. If you're interested in learning more about American history and also about nature, sign up for my free subscription and you will learn all about the wilderness.